welcome to Anderton's TV. We're at NAM 2020 on the Chase Bliss stand. Uh, I'm joined by Joel, uh, a very talented and unknown guitar player called Andy. This is why the badges are so important. And Angelo, who's from Meris. Uh, and it will become clear quite why we have a Chase Bliss Meris combination on the stand. Who would like to explain that? Uh, I can explain that. So uh, about this time, the last year, uh, when we announced that pedal, um, the automaton um, the preamp, I got a text from Terry, and uh, it was a picture of that and a picture, a picture of the Lexicon 224, and he was like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And I just responded, I'm, I'm thinking that now, you know? So we just kind of went off to the races after that, and, and uh, yeah, that's, I mean, we've been talking about collaborating for a few years, and this just, this was the one that slapped us in the face. All right, well, Angelo, you're the Meris guy. Yeah. So tell us, uh, I'm not even sure I know what this is. It's CXM 1978 is the name, right? Or, right, right, okay, so right. Tell us, tell us what goes into here. So, yeah, the name um, is kind of a tribute to its inspiration. Uh, at the AES show in 1978, that's where they announced that, like, classic studio reverb. It's a favorite of Brian Eno and Daniel Lanois, which is, you know, a big inspiration for us. So we have uh, three modes, room, plate, hall, and we have the um, same crossover decay controls from the original. Now, you guys probably haven't seen this yet, and I'm not sure what button I can press to make it do it. Let's do it. This one? Yep. Are you close up on the pedal, Tay? Check this out. Oh, doesn't everybody love a motorized fader? But, okay, I'm going to ask the question. Is it just a gimmick, or what's the point of motorized faders? Oh, motorized faders is really important. Um, if you have a preset on a pedal board, and you're just scrolling through presets, the knobs aren't moving. You get lost. You don't right. know what. So this is really great if it's on your uh, mixing desk. You go to a different preset. You know exactly where you're at. And you don't. You kind of lose that um, in in different embodiments that the knobs don't move or, the, or they don't have any motorized action. So, okay. So it's really it's just so that the the user visually can yeah. see immediately where everything's set yeah. to. And presumably you can just override. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so let's hear some playing then. So, so we've got a. This is predominantly reverb. Are we hearing other pedals at the same time? We have a little bit of drive. We have a little bit of drive here, but that's it, right? Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Well, you tell me if you want me to press any buttons or do anything, and then let's hear it. Can you just dial in and yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Yeah, so um, the crossover sets the crossover points between the mid decay and the bass decay. We have uh, different modulations. Uh, we have different characters, so the hi fi gives um, you know, modern sample rates and modern bit depths, and then. We like scroll through the decades to give you kind of the classic reverb sounds and get the fidelity right for the original. atmospheric reverbs and playing we've had at the whole show I love it um, well there you go uh, I guess I've no I guess you know find out about pricing wise I'll put it on the Anderton site so this is pretty new like a brand new announcement right? brand new prototype uh, we're not even sure when it's gonna come out besides we thinking like probably later in the summer and we're not also not sure of the price yet either so. oh, well there we go uh, but that's very very cool I like it a lot cheers guys nice to meet you all.